tell me the pa story. Okay, so during Hurricane Sandy, my brothers went to stay at my grandfather's house because he's alone and they wanted to hang out with him. They didn't know what was going on. And at that point, he still had power. So they go over to his house and like, yeah, we're going to go camping in the living room. We're going to like, you know, make tents and it's going to be amazing. So anyway, the power goes out and they're hanging out over at my grandfather's house and we were at my house. And I call my grandfather the next day and I'm like, oh, did you eat? You know, how are you doing? Did you take your medicine? My grandfather's diabetic. So, you know, I'm always on top of him, like, make sure if he ate something that day. So he was on the phone and I'm like, oh, so what did you eat? Oh, yeah, we ate. Don't worry. We have enough food for three weeks, four weeks. You know, we can make it through anything. So then my grandfather, I'm like, well, what did you make? He's like, oh, I made the kids a pizza. And I'm like, a pizza? It's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Who eats a pizza at 11 o'clock in the morning? But anyway, I'm like, how did? what did you do? Did you order a pizza? Like, how did you make a pizza? You have no power, no oven, no nothing. Oh, I had a frozen pizza. So what he did was he put the frozen pizza on the stove and he fried the pizza. Like, on the bottom to make it crispy. However, it only slightly melted the cheese on top. So he whips out his blowtorch and he blowtorches the top of the pizza so that it's nice and crispy because my brothers, God forbid, have just slightly melted cheese on their pizza. I mean, God forbid, they need to have fresh, crispy pizza. And my brothers, they went nuts. They thought they were at the fanciest gourmet restaurant in town because, you know, all fancy restaurants apparently blowtorch their food and, like, when they're making creme brulee, so they just got this notion in their heads that this is the coolest thing and grandpa is the best. And that was it. Meanwhile, we were eating pasta and soup for three days and they're eating pizza and then he made a meatloaf later on because, you know, you can blow torch meatloaf if you cut it up small enough. So that was it. But that was our wonderful experience with Hurricane Sandy.